Hey, welcome to the Dads and Drink Show. <laughs> Getting sick of that yet, Jeremy? <laughs> no, dude, I really am not. I mean, maybe we could do a remix and throw a backbeat on it, but I don't know. I, 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 I want to get a little music back background to it. Yeah, I think that's all we need. Like, so if you're out there, peoples that DJ or make beats, <laughs> hook us up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, otherwise I'm going to just beatbox and, and do my own mix, and that that's going <laughs> to... I don't know. That turned out pretty well. I mean, the Dads and Drinks thing did. <laughs> hey, I know you're going to flash up there, but I'm going to say it before we even get started. Like, we go through this, we have fun. Remember, guys, like, subscribe. It's not shilling. It really helps us out. We want to be able to grow this. We love our fan base that we have. So please, like, subscribe, share. Do all that nonsensical shit that YouTube needs for an algorithm to help us out. Amen. Amen. Just hit that subscribe button. I don't know why. It. You know what? Really doesn't cost anything. Literally. Nothing at all. Doesn't yeah. cost anything. And yeah. if you don't want if you don't watch the videos, it's not like it even messes up your algorithm to hit subscribe. I hit subscribe on so many channels that I would not know that I did because if you don't watch their videos. They don't show up. So yeah, it's not like it's a recurring like watching it, but <laughs> right, it, it, it's not like a recurring subscription thing. You don't get charged every month, right? If we give nope. you a laugh somewhere along the way, man, just toss it out there because yeah, we're having fun like... doing this. But that YouTube world is rough, bro. <laughs> Amen. Amen. We get demonetized every episode. <laughs> My bad. I almost, I almost said something that would demonetize us right off the bat. But we're not. <laughs> we're not going to give a cheap demonetization. We're gonna. We're gonna earn it. We will earn that. Um, all right. So in this episode, uh, at least this episode, we'll we'll see how it goes. I, I think we have too many videos to go through in one episode. <clears throat> but we're 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 going to talk about survival, survival situations. Um, we are not survival experts, and let's be clear as a disclaimer here. Oh yeah, the experts whose videos we're playing, we don't know if they're experts either. It's easy to sit in a lab and say, you know how to survive a polar bear on meth in a snowstorm <laughs> during an earthquake is to do this. It's easy to say when you're wearing a lab coat and, and you've got seven PhDs and you've never had sex before. But it's, yeah. you know, life is a little different than than, than what these well, lab coats say. What, but, did, uh, what did Mike Tyson say back in the day? Everybody's got a plan till you punch them in the face. <laughs> like, yes, it's nice yeah. to be in a lab and have this. So, seriously, we do not like support, promote any of that stuff. If you choose to take this advice, then you're on your own, man. That's on you. <laughs> the the number one advice. The, this is real advice that is 100% ironclad, which. You know, it reminds me of what I was taught in Catholic school, which is not the best thing to do. But the only way to avoid these scenarios or to, to not die in these scenarios is to avoid them altogether. Hmm. It's the well, same way they said the only way you know you're not going to get your girlfriend pregnant is by not having sex or anal. Because well, um, <laughs> you never know. Um, but look, we again, there is going to be a, a running theme that you will hear through this is it's Darwinism at its best, okay? This is survival of the fittest. If you don't uh, want to have to learn how to, you know, fight off a bear, then, you know, don't go camping and, and have peanut butter every. I, I don't. I mean, just, just don't draw the bears, you know what I'm saying? You, you won't have to fight them if they're not oh, there. <laughs> I like to cover my whole body in peanut butter and go out in the woods. Avoid the situation. But, right? not, you know, not everything is avoidable. We're going to start with the video that, uh, you know, uh, you know, mature audiences only. And look, we're not going to break down this video in depth. And you're probably not going to be able to even make out this video very well. Um, but it was a news story that kind of started our conversation. Uh, this, this young man in um, the Bahamas who... You know, I don't know why he did what he did. Uh, Peer pressure is a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. And look, look, I hope children aren't watching this. But if you are, don't do Mature stupid audience. shit. You're not immortal. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> you might feel immortal, but we're going to show you that. that uh, <laughs> yeah, nature look, be nature. 
and, I, and I'm sad for the family and everyone involved, but uh, it'll lead us into Jeff though. Cause somewhere in here, there's a point that I want to know is this, you know, are they going to hell for this? Because yes. see if you pick it up. Oh my fucking God. So he oh, jumps off a party oh, bus. Bye -bye. There's this kid. Oh, That's hey, it. Hey, the boo! Hey, the boo! Hey, the boo! Yo, this is kid. You know, it's really it's hard to see. Off, right? And right here, it this becomes clear. This kid fucking jumped off! Yeah. Ooh, more time, yeah, that's a flash right there. Okay, this is not an easy video to navigate in YouTube shorts, but yeah, there was a shark going at him. That's where the kids started screaming, and then uh, you hear, I believe, right about here. Uh, oh, 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 bye bye. Oh. That's, that's your, the uh, Are they going to hell? Bye bye. Are you, yeah, are you going to hell? You are watching a friend, supposedly of yours, that you have dared to jump into the waters. And the peer pressure is stupid enough to make this kid do it. You're recording it. And when you see the shark fin, your response is, bye-bye. Yeah. Um, Whoever that kid is yeah. probably needs to be put in uh, Arkham Asylum or whatever. <laughs> Arkham so, Penitentiary. The mental hospital for Batman. Because yeah. that's just a, like, whoa, dude. You, I mean, that was like a... That, that, that was I not mean, like a, a tragic. That was like a ha, 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 ha. Yeah. I, now, I did. I, I was reading some, and I don't want to dive too much into the details. No, no. Like, this was some sort of high school graduation mm -hmm. trip, and not all of these kids knew each other. It was like oh, graduate school. Oh, okay. So all right. there was just drinking involved, which is an 18-year-old kid in the Bahamas. Is I'm legal? Not saying, uh, sure, right? Right. Probably shouldn't be drinking on a boat, especially if you're dumb enough to jump in the water. I don't know. They, this spawned a whole conversation between the two of us for a long time because I'm very much a shark defender. Um, and then, of course, a, a Russian guy got attacked, and there's still a lot of questions as to what the actual status is. It looked like – I sent you that video. We're not going to play mm -hmm. it here. It looked like he got eaten alive. Now, there are some stories that are saying, no, he just lost his arm. and, and he just lost he his actually, arm. You know. Well – well, I mean, that is kind of a win. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, considering. considering. It looked like he just was eaten whole, basically, which is not really what sharks do. All right. Hey, look, I um, you're pro shark. I'm going to take the other point of this. I'm not I mean, you, you, pro you shark. You're okay. Um, so <laughs> I have this issue when I go to the beach and everybody's like doing fishing off the pier. Like so many times, at least in the South, Myrtle Beach, those sort of areas, the Outer Banks of North Carolina, even Atlantic City, they will catch baby sharks, right? Do, 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 baby shark. Um, they will catch them and they're only like this big and they will bring them up onto the pier and then they'll take a little picture with the shark and then they will toss it back into the water. And I swear to you in my head, this becomes the debate of if you could go back in time when Hitler was a baby, would you kill him? If I catch a shark that's this big, he's not going back in the water no. because the, oh, because man. later, because later he will be a big shark and he certainly is not just tossing me back on land. Do, do you, Take him out when you can. You know, there's like 50 or fewer shark attacks every year on humans and humans kill tens of thousands of sharks every year. It's not <laughs> sharks bite, shark attacks, not shark yes. killing humans. Right. It's so disproportionate. Um, so you're saying the humans are winning the war against the sharks? <laughs> no, I'm saying there's not a war. There's an irrational fear because of Jaws. Oh, yeah. People have an irrational fear. So we talked about survival. So so, so let's let's start here with uh, shark attack and and... I kind of I kind of themed this episode as to I didn't watch any of these videos, so if they suck, it's not my fault. I only watched up into the point I watched past the fluff or what I hope was the fluff, mm -hmm. or I'm gonna have a lot of editing to do. Um, <laughs> but like here, how to how to fight a shark? Let's learn how to beat a shark so, if you're the dumbass who jumped. No, no, no. In. Before before we watch this, Jeremiah, you're in the water with a shark. Uh, I'm going to give you first dibs so you don't cut. Hey, I, because I don't know if I'm right according to this guy, but 
I I think I might know more than you just being a a a, a Florida. Uh, I, th- I think so. I've always heard punch him in the snout, like punch him in the nose, which is kind of yeah. weird because that's kind of how you win a human fight, right? Like I don't I don't care if you're like seven foot, 350 pounds. If you get hit in the nose, you're going to cry like a bitch because that's the worst part ever. <laughs> like, yeah. it's so I'm, sensitive. I'm going to start with this one, how to survive a shark attack. Then I'm going to go to how to fight a shark. All right, let's go. One. How do we survive um, first and how do we so, fight so, or flight? So you're right. <laughs> I think that's that's the thing is punch them right on the tip of their nose. Yeah. And then I believe the other thing is if they keep coming at you, <laughs> uh, it's not, oh, no, don't try to swim away. Because that actually makes you look smaller if you're like this and if the water's here, mm-hmm. you want to be like this instead of like this. Oh, uh, you want to be vertical, see. not horizontal. I'm yeah, like, okay. So so there's that. And then I do believe if they're coming at you, you punch them in the nose. And if they keep coming, you try to get their gills or their eyes. Well, look, what you just I said, though, makes a key. shit ton of sense, right? Let's just go back to logic. If I'm swimming... You can eat me from behind. Yeah, and they're if not I'm trying vertical, to eat you. They're just—they don't know that you're not a fish. Like sharks don't exactly. have vision. Like they—they they see basically with their nose. Oh, I that's think. why you punch them there. But but again, if you're vertical for a shark to bite me, like that's a hell of a jaw expansion. Like you got to get for me five foot eleven of a jaw expansion to bite me if I'm vertical, unless you turn on the side and go to a foot or something. But if I'm here, you could take half my body. So, so, yeah, well, so sharks like to eat small fish, like, mm-hmm. you know, yay yeah. big. So if you're like this, they can't tell how long you are. They just, right. that's a small fit. Your feet are small fish. Right. Um, I think we just this, saved some lives. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's my, yeah. I, we'll see what these guys say. This is what I think I know. I don't know if I trust this guy. By the way, did you see it said, then sometimes they get bit? (laughs) (laughs) Disclaimer, you might still lose a leg. (laughs) Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, how to survive it. Actually coming at you. Coming at you, uh, and looks like it's going to make contact with you. Uh, The nose is a sensitive spot. Uh, You you can bop it on the nose with your fist. Uh, It likely will veer away. I always thought downwards. Hopefully we'll have enough time to get out of the water. Yeah, I wouldn't uppercut. Finally, uh, in in fact, uh, a shark has got you in his jaws. Uh, The eyes and the gill slits, the the five openings behind the the, (laughs) the eyes are very sensitive. (laughs) If he's eating your dick, just just ask him to kill you. (laughs) I I like that in the animation, the guy's just dropping elbows. He's just dusty roading that shit. Dropping bows. (laughs) Yeah, no, 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 but... What did I say? Eyes and gills. Yeah. Um, and uh, uh, stick your fingers in there, uh, claw at them. Uh, <laughs> and uh, some people that have been a bit uh, have had success in getting them to open their mouths when you uh, poke at their eye. Uh, some the odds of being attacked actually <laughs> oh. have never been lower than they are right now, simply because we're putting so many people in the water um, that it's just like having uh, extra lottery tickets thrown into the pool. So individually, our odds of being attacked have never been lower. <laughs> he basically said it might attack, but if there's a thousand people, you got one in a thousand chances. Yeah. If there's five yeah, of you, the, you're kind of fucked. <laughs> that's not the best way to do it. Now let's hear how to fight a shark. How to fight a shark. Shark attacks happen worldwide, but the United States has the most with 53 unprovoked attacks in 2015. 53. Shark attacks okay, wait, pause are that. really bad pause in that. guess which state. He said unprovoked. There is zero way to prove that, man. I'm just saying. He's like 53 unprovoked. Like maybe yeah, you swam unprovoked. up on the dog, the shark when it was with its baby sharks. That's you you provoked that. You have yeah. no way to prove that it's unprovoked. Humans are in the ocean. It's provoked. That's Ooh. not our. Ta- that's not our realm, guys. It's not okay, our realm. wait, wait, Jeff. This is a Water great place boat. to pause. I don't know if you've watched this video, but I'm blind. Which oh. U.S. state has the most shark attacks? I could bet you. $100 I mean, dollars. I know number one. I mean, I think it should be Florida or California, but California I feel like a lot of people in New two. I feel like a lot of people in North Carolina or Virginia because yeah, you know. Southern well, Florida's folk. definitely number one. There's no way. All right, let's see how we go. I'm going to take yeah, Virginia. Really? See, I yeah. think California would be number two, but I don't know. I'm going yep, sleeper. Yep, 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 yep. 
freaking Florida. Ah. It's always freaking Florida. Yeah. Six of the top ten beaches with the most shark attacks are located there, with New Smyrna on Beach the Atlantic. The most now, shark which, which one's near you? you? Which one's I'm near on the you? other side. Okay, okay, so you're good. You're on the Gulf side. <laughs> I'm on the Gulf. Yeah, I'm on. Oh right. uh, well. Yeah, I'm Indiana on the other side. Having the most shark attacks of anywhere in the U.S. The best way to beat a shark is to never get into a fight with one at all. Follow these tips and you'll lower your risk of encountering a shark in the ocean. Don't swim at night. At night, you can't see the shark coming. But that, the that's the does. absolute dumbest thing about I what did. this kid did is you, you don't dive into yes. black waters. At night, it's congregate yeah. as sharks and love to feed. So that's there. the other thing. I don't know where this was. Before you go in the water. But... but the, it was swimming in intercoastals, basically, where fish come through. And that probably is where that kid jumped off the boat, too. And, and, and rewind, we now know sharks follow party boats because they get fed easily. Stuff goes Well, they're over. not following party boats. They're night. looking for fish. At night, right. You can't see they the are throwing over. They so now it's dark it's on a party boat. Na natural natural fish. Avoid swimming your mouths of rivers, inlets, channels, or anywhere rivers. where lots of small fish congregate as sharks That's love where to small feed fish congregate. Areas. It has nothing to do with jewelry people before throwing you go in the water. fish off. Even though don't, they're smart, don't swim where they're sharks. They're collecting off a gold watch with fish scales and think they found their next meal. Be with other people. When you're in a group, sharks are more afraid to attack. If you're going out into shark-infested waters, you should bring along some gear to help give you the edge. Like a bazooka. It may not seem fair, but in a fight with a shark, now, you need... Th this is all This is all very all uh, uh, fast-hitting, but not wearing shiny jewelry is just advice I would recommend to all men. Yeah, well... Yeah, unless I, you're I, playing, unless you're playing for the Tampa Bay Rays, then <laughs> then you wear your shiny jewelry on the field, yeah. but not onto the beach. Think like a shark. To avoid a shark, think like a shark. Well, just don't fucking draw your draw its attention. That's right. it. That's my motto in life. I just want to pass through without drawing so, attention. And um, here's your thing: if you're lot. super afraid of a shark, so they'll actually stay like twenty watch feet away. From you. Pretty dope. You're also gonna mm -hmm. want a shark stick. Now I want okay. even if you're not going out to the water, I want a shark you just stick. have a shark stick. Who's this swimming a with a shark a stick? That holds just one bullet, usually a 357 Magnum, that's attached to either a spear or a spear gun. Since it's designed to work underwater, it's I want the a shark best stick defensive really tool bad. you have is, against it, the wait, shark. Wait, is that what they used in Jaws? Which would suck. I don't know. I never watched Jaws. Really? I watched the first ten minutes, and I'm like, this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. It it's good bad. Now, uh, if you encounter a shark, the oh, first thing you think should be to leave the water. Do it quickly, but oh, don't thanks. panic. Leave the water. In vertical <laughs> upright genius. position. If you swim horizontally, uh, it makes it a lot easier for the shark to bite you. And don't turn your back to the shark. See, Studies my knowledge is all accurate. pursuing you if you face them and make yourself look like a threat. Wave so your arms and crash your feet to look as big and intimidating as possible. This will Yo, scare that's most what they say about bears. Fuck threat, that. And therefore, they'll be kept at bay. Now, oh, we're going to talk about bears. Yeah. In the clear. Make However, yourself if big. it punches back, beware. It's about to attack. And trust me, you definitely don't want to be bit by a shark. I don't know from experience. I'm just using context clues. <laughs> <laughs> of other people bit by freaking sharks. Here's some of those. Ooh. Thank you, guy, on, for right? editing your video. Moving on. When sharks attack, they don't go for yeah. the quick kill. That that's a point though is it gets lost in that shuffle. But most shark attacks really oh, one bite. don't. They don't kill. They don't kill. It's one bite. I mean, you come out without a leg or an arm, but you still got your life. I mean, the shark really doesn't just go for the kill. I mean, they're that's, going for bites. What one thing I remember reading at a young age was sharks don't actually realize how big you are until they bite you. Yeah. All right. Like they sense. have no vision. They're, they're all of their stuff is kind of tied up in their nose, their teeth, and everything like mm -hmm. that. So they bite a person's leg or arm and realize, holy shit, this is a big thing. <laughs> I, and they swim away. Yeah. That's um, what the vast majority, that's why those 53 shark attacks or whatever that they said, I, I, I want, guarantee you, probably less than 15 of them were actual kills yeah probably even less than that if we're probably honest it's and, probably and single digits it's probably several of single those digits. were probably they drowned because yeah their leg got yeah, yeah. bitten off or something i could see that we'll get like, to that point later like your leg gets bitten off in the ocean what do you do limbs and <laughs> swallow them whole well that i ah, don't think there's an answer then to. they're gonna chew on your torso while you bleed to death awesome and gross <sighs> awesome 
So when a shark rushes awesome. at you, the first thing you're going to want to do is cut off the angles of attack. A shark is much more mobile. <laughs> cut off the angles of attack. And He's trying to train running backs. So Use the angles. A rock or a reef. This will force Whoa. the shark to come oh, okay. you straight on, yeah. preventing the it, shark. Just hold your breath for right. Like, you you hold your breath for 20 minutes sort of because you're a mermaid and can hang out in a rock. You can't find. Oh, no, he's talking about scuba gear now. So, okay. Oh, okay. All right, scuba. All right. So, this we'll... is probably a little more advanced. I think we're going to separate this episode into animals and then events. I love it. Yes, it's uh, easily a two. We're going to move from animal to animal. We'll talk more about survival mm -hmm. in the water. But I, I do remember when we were talking, you were saying about sharks, sharks, sharks. And I'm like, there's like 70 things I fear more than sharks in the water. Mm. I fear the sun I... more than the sharks. Yo, I, if I, I'm stranded. What? Okay, like obviously I'm pale and Irish, so the sun's not my friend. You have an irrational, <laughs> irrational feel of, fear of sharks, my friend. I blame Jaws. You just haven't watched it, so you don't have my fear. <laughs> yeah, because I have, I have, you know, common sense, and I'm young enough and, to not have had to watch Jaws. And, and you, <laughs> and you deal with it. You're closer than I am, right? So it becomes old. Well, I do think that's the funny thing is I think yeah. people who actually live by the water are much less afraid than people who don't. Sure. But you're not I, that far from the water. It's not like you're in fucking Nebraska. Right. I'm in Delaware. I got beaches, but uh... <laughs> look, I'll tell yeah, you this man, much. No. So the... I never swim in the ocean sober. So if there is a shark that like takes my leg off, you're welcome for the buzz. He's taking a little bit of alcohol with him. I'm just saying my blood might be better than others. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, again, I'm I I'm I'm not I don't mind the beach. I, I the beach is fine. I'm I'm not a big getting the get in the water person anyways. Yeah. I'm like, eh, you, you. Yeah. Yeah, it's I feel it, like I'm getting salt out of my ass crack for three days. Yeah, yeah. Well, dude, and then you have kids, Jeff. Again, we're dads with drinks. When you go to the beach with kids, that is just the worst too experience much. Ever. Oh my god. Taking kids to the shades, beach is is torture. There's sunshades, there's there's uh, umbrellas that you put up, and then well, and goggles and I've this got a big and... advantage of having Italian children, so we don't really need to worry about sun right. sunshades. Right. Like, and, then, and then dude, so somebody put sunscreen on maybe if you want to. You're somebody cashed in up here, which is kind of cool. When my son was really little, they made like a half tent. If you've seen this, so it's like you put it down and it's got a tent bottom and like the back half of a tent that's mm -hmm. completely covered, but the opening on the front. So you can put like a toddler in there and they're fine and they lay around and do what they do. But like, it, it's so exhausting. And, and as dads, we and you're getting speak. sand out of everything for uh, a month dude, and a half. Right. And, and you're doing you're that like, with like a baby. Where did sand come from? We haven't gone dude. to the beach since dude. July and it's October. Right. All right. Let's all move right. on to another animal. Mm. Uh, all right. We're already, we're already deep into this and we've let's only go. got through sharks. We got animal you. number two. Let's go. We're going... Three more animals. We're gonna Ooh. we're gonna stay with a somewhat sea creature here. And again, speed round. <laughs> no. Again, there's there's no doubt I'm gonna know better than you on this one. You oh. probably you can probably gator? guess what I'm talking gator? about. You, oh yeah, Let's alligator. Go gator, bud. So Ugh. Jeremiah, again, you're face to face with an alligator. I'm gonna go shark and I'm gonna punch him in the nose. But I mean, but it looks very tough. So I don't know if that'll work as much, but I'm gonna punch him in the nose. Well, so so here's the thing. You have to kind of be an idiot to be face to face with a gator. Well, uh, it's, is it's, that it's, true? Because Florida, they're yeah. everywhere. Like I've been yeah. on golf yeah. courses and I came face to face with a gator. I wasn't trying to You don't go have there. to go face to face to the gator. That's true. I just like I, I've been on a golf course and there was like the biggest alligator I've ever seen was at a golf course. It was humongous. And guess what? You just pray you don't hit the ball towards them because if you do, you're playing another ball. Right. <laughs> you know, golf balls are expensive, but you can take my Titleist, dude. Go ahead. I'm good. I'll, I'll drop. Yeah, you don't. <laughs> but so, you so get a free thing, drop. I, have Florida. you ever heard this this thing of of uh? If they chase you, you run in a zigzag. Yes, yes. That they can't move. They have to go straight line. No, that's definitely bullshit. I, I don't know. If I, I've never been chased by an alligator, no. and I've seen thousands in my day. 
All right, so Jeff, uh, I have to go. Like you talked about the golf. I'm sorry, but now it's really in my head. I have a couple friends who are really like sticklers for golf rules. Like if you hit a golf ball in Florida and it's technically in bounds, but there's a gator close to it, do you get a free drop? Like it's no, not a penalty your, stroke, right? Your friend who's a stickler for the rules, they can go get the fucking ball. <laughs> so you get a free drop. Good call. Yeah, yeah All right. that's that's called... <laughs> God's will. The alligator will <laughs> eat the asshole stickler for the golf rules. I, I hate them too. All right. Now, <laughs> so tell me how to get away from a gator. Apparently, we don't zigzag. Okay. So, well, yeah, this is it. I don't know what this guy's going to say. <laughs> Although, I actually, I can see the first thing down here is run away. So, we're going to get to it quick. Okay. But, you know, if a gator's chasing you, you just get away. I've never seen a gator with a lot of stamina. The other thing is, I've seen gators back down by these, uh, God, I really should know the name of them. There's these ugly ass birds with long necks. Oh, like that, cranes? Some kind of crane. They're an I know what you're talking species. about. They're not the I, pretty ones. They're I the hate them. Ones. I hate yeah. them. They make awful. They're the ugliest birds. They're endangered, so you can't do anything. I really want to karate chop them in the neck. But I've seen a gator back down from that thing. See, so the other thing is, I think you do the bear the bear thing. Get big. I, get big. Get big. And blah. You know. Well, Jeff, in fairness, and I mean this with all due respect, it's not a shot. You have a better chance of getting big than I do. You're just taller than me, and you're like like thicker and broad shouldered. Like you can get big. If I get big, I'm still not really big. <laughs> a gator is like this much off the ground. That's true. <laughs> Look, it, I and, and maybe it's unfair, but with gators, I automatically associate it with crocodiles. So I go back to like the crocodile hunter. Like Steve Irwin would tell you the way to avoid a, a gator is just to jump on its back and give it a hug. Um, <laughs> well, I do think, I do think that that is, uh, if, if you can get there. Yeah. So it's not a bad it's, call. If it's going after someone else and mm -hmm. you're behind it, yep. you should be able actually to get on top of it and cl close it. Rear naked choke. Rear naked yeah. choke, right? Because I believe the head that can't is get true. there. At least, like, again, you can't do that with a shark because the fin and shit, it's not no, going to no, work. No, 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 no. Right. All right. So let's see what he tells us. Run away in a straight line. Oh, straight line. Wow. They Whenever teach you this shit in school, an alligator right? while Florida? walking around, take flight. An alligator on yeah. land is very dangerous. Well, you yeah. need to immediately well, they, start they running in a straight line. I don't think they taught me a straight line. One thing school. about no, gators they taught you zigzag. once you leave their territory, they will stop chasing you. I didn't Running know that. in a zigzag also exposes you longer and makes you more interesting to the alligator. <laughs> Never provoke, feed, or panic around this an alligator. This is the big thing. Provoke. Don't molest the gators. It is people's provoke. actions that provoke an alligator in come every on, attack. Come on, fucker. Things like grabbing its tail and taking very close pictures as they sunbathe annoy and confuse gators. That's what people do. They'll go up and Wait. grab their tails, That's or they'll they'll crazy. take selfies inches from it. <laughs> Only retards die from being eaten by alligators. Bro, bro, alligators are huge and long. The fact that you have to say, like, don't go grab its tail. If I grab my dog's tail right now, he's going to snap at me and he can turn his body. What in the holy hell are you thinking that you go to a gator and grab its tail? Are you going to swing it? Are you going to airplane swing it? No, you can't. It, I, oh, my. That's so bad. They deserve to die. People Darwinism. Stupid. Darwinism. If you run up and grab the tail of a gator, Some also try to, to feed quote them. our boy in the video, bye-bye. <laughs> now this is this is the dangerous part where people can screw other people right, over. Let's go. Feeding the gators will start mm. associating humans with food when you feed them. Mm. The animal will naturally come for the food you are holding. <laughs> Never mess with its children. Yeah. So th yeah. this th well, I think like, he's demonstrating this, but to to go back to the food point, I worked at a, at an office and there was a gator and and it had a couple babies in a lake right outside our office. And, you know, for years, this, this alligator lived there, you know, decent sized gator. We had food trucks come almost every day. And this one taco truck decided to start feeding the alligator. Oh no. And then the gator started going up to people. And oh, all of a sudden no. now Florida wildlife commission had to be called and they came and murdered the alligator in oh. front of everyone. 
Because they didn't have a choice. Because now yeah. this, alligators he was gonna are a person. Dumb, he was going to eat a person. Dumb. That's the thing is, right. most of these gator attacks, there, there was one famous one in my neck of the woods. I think it was in St. Pete. Where a guy was walking his dog. Oh yeah. Uh, but but he used to walk his dog down to the lake and feed the alligator. One day he was walking his dog. He didn't prepare to feed the alligator, so the alligator went to go eat his dog. And the guy tried yeah. to intervene, so he ate the guy. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I know you. You're that dude that gives me food. So what's up? I didn't bring you. Yeah, today. I came for I'm food. I'm still hungry. So. Look, it, yeah, it's they're, really... they don't, they, they, they are dumb. They have like peanut sized brains. They are dumb creatures, but you condition them to, I yeah. bring food. Well, guess what? They are going to say, man, bring food. To, so to, I'm hungry every time I see man. If it's a dangerous animal, stop you feeding can, it, you fucking moron. You can train like, humans as, just as well as animals. Stray uh, cats. Are, Stray cats, feed the stray cats coming back. Like, they will come for food because animals work on a primitive level. It is yeah. food, no. fuck, survive. So let's go back and see how we get away from this gator. I love don't do zigzag because it takes you longer. <laughs> yeah, well, it's, it is every animal's thing. nature to protect to its young zigzags. ones. What are we, fucking Barry Sanders? <laughs> However interesting and <laughs> cute a baby gator, gator seems, never <laughs> yeah. touch or try messing with them. The mothers usually stay at a don't closer range gators. to protect their children. <laughs> and I, I'm saying that, and I don't know if you, there's a lot of al there's a lot of signs in Florida that says "Do not molest the alligators." Jeff, Jeff. all right, get way off. My eighth grade trip in North Carolina. We took an eighth grade trip, and everybody was like, "All of these two buses." And we went to go visit the college campuses and all that shit. And then we went to the Outer Banks, and we went over to Cape Hatteras. And as an eighth grader, it was the first time I saw a sign that says. Do not molest the animals. And I lost my shit, dude. I laughed so hard. Like, I was crying. I still have pictures. I'm like, who's molesting an animal? Because I only knew one meaning for molest. <laughs> like, why well, you got to tell people not to fuck the fish? <laughs> uh, so We're you have them. Talking about less intelligent beings. Uh <laughs> <laughs> it was North Carolina, dude. It might be necessary. <laughs> That's a good point. That's a good point. Oh uh, no, no, no. There are a lot of signs though in Florida that says do not molest the alligators. That's fucking great. See, uh, what should you do in case me, you are attacked? Well, there we Smack go. the gator's sensitive snout. There you go. Smack back the snout. An alligator has a very sensitive snout. He says you are smack probably, though. Like smack I, smack the smack the snout, I feel like is an a a, a a a euphemism that should be used like hey baby <laughs> You want to smack instead of just you want to smack the snout? Let me smack, smack the, the snout. snout. Smack the snout. <laughs> Look, but but again, smack like I'm not I'm asking you to sew. Just smack the snout. <laughs> if you're in that situation, I'm not going open hand for shit. I mean, I'm I'm not a fighter, but I do understand that fist equals better than this. Like you go bitch slap a fucking gator. Um, back in them? I think like, I think it gives bitch. you more of a chance of connecting, but yeah, I, I yeah. would probably punch. I don't think I would smack. Yeah. I would smack the snout again. Like <laughs> of tearing a gator's mouth when under attack. Just aim at the animal's snout. A good aim will make the animal vulnerable on the spot, thereby releasing you from its jaws. Can Fight we make back smack for your the life. snout a thing? Yes. <laughs> Give it Fight all you can when life. fighting with alligators. The only way to survive an attack is to do everything you can to let loose. <laughs> Thanks, video. Thank you, bud. Experts will tell you to try Don't poking its eyes. Don't just lay down and die. Don't lay down and die. Poke its eyes. Skull. I'm with you. If the attack happens in water, remember that the animal like, is oh, better done. in water than on land. No, no, I, try as this much video as possible right there to get say, back to land for your safety. If this attack safety. happens in water, you're done. You're bye dead. Bye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye-bye. Look, bye -bye. You, can, you can see uh, one thing that might come up in the future. Uh, although although we're 47 minutes in and we've <laughs> not even gotten through two this animals yet. This is be a three-parter, bro. This is good um, stuff. But I, I do think, I, well, well, we'll talk about animals fighting. I think it's going to, but the only time alligators win in the wild against other animals is when right. there's water involved. They're well, not going to win on land. What scares me is a gator roll. 
right? Or is that the crocodile? I still get them mixed up. Uh, yeah, but it's, it's a gator, yeah, right? You're dead. You're dead if they get you when, that. You're dead. When they, when they grab you, they, and then they roll, roll you. In. Yeah. Right. You're, you're done. done. You're, you're just, you're, they're, they're drowning you. need to you. avoid that. <laughs> yes. Like you get that one turn and game done, dude. Yeah, I mean, avoid the situation. I, yes. I, 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 children. Well, that's obviously... easier for me than you. Like, this is an everyday thing for you. You could encounter a gator well, if you every saw day. An alligator, would you go walk over to him and be like, no. oh, let me pet you? No, no, no you'd stay uh, the hell away. Look, call that Darwinism. If you want to go make the gator your friend, the good luck. The only time in my life that I got close to a gator attacking me was when I was in college. There was a retention pond, like a little drainage yeah. ditch. And uh, it was going from one class to another, and I walked by, and my buddy and I were like, holy shit, there's a gator in there. And it was probably 10 feet down. So I take my little flip phone out. See, I'm still old, even though I'm much younger. Oh, yeah. Way too young to have watched Jaws. I still have a flip phone <laughs> in college. Take my flip phone out to take a picture of it, and the thing launches up and mm -hmm. came seemingly this close to, to me. It's probably way further than that. Launched itself at me. Look. And I was just like, oh, okay, all right, we're done here. And that was the closest. I mean, that was the only time an alligator actually made a move at me in my entire life. Again, I've seen <laughs> Bro, thousands of occasions of gators. Look, as our conversation of Jaws went along, like you're now, like this is some deep therapy shit. I'm realizing where my stuff comes from and it's old movies. Because here's the deal. In these videos, you've probably all seen my dog. He hangs out. He's around back here, whatever he is. For the longest time, I absolutely had what I considered or called the Cujo rule. The old movie Cujo, which is basically a giant St. Bernard gets rabid and a mom and her child are trapped in a car and this dog's just trying to eat them. He just wants to get in. It's a Stephen King thing. So my whole rule was, I want a dog that if it goes Cujo... I can win. So I used to have like, you know, little bitty like chihuahuas. Because if, if a chihuahua went crazy, I would win that fight, right? If a Rottweiler decided to go Cujo, I'm dead. I, I go back to like, don't approach the gator. When you bring an animal into your house that could actively kill you, well, that's on you, pit bulls. Like, I got no use for it. it, it side note, let's go back to Shark. Jeremiah, uh, you know, uh, the Jeff Bacalito podcast has a sponsor, BetterHelp. Uh, you may want to check, <laughs> into, uh, check, check into it. We're going to go rapid fire, which means in the next mm -hmm. three days, we might finish these last two animals. Uh, let's go. Uh, we got two more. Here's, here's one we kind of referenced earlier. The bear. Now, uh. so... Uh, so this is get this, big we're on level playing field this is whatever uh, we both have the same now get big yeah get big, get big. Uh, and yell make a lot of noise and get big yes that's the knowledge now there i'm trying to remember the what was the bear the one to play dead with that might be or was that a lion? Or I don't have no. I think that's those. bear. I think that's bear. I think so there, bear. those are two you very start move. opposite things. <laughs> Get big or play dead. <laughs> Close to a bear. Uh, I've driven by a bear before. If it was in the road, it's humongous. Would have totaled my car. Mm -hmm. yeah, but uh, other than, I don't even know if I've seen them in a zoo. I don't. I don't think. Yeah, they, you've seen them in. The, if you've been to any zoo, they had a bear, right? I guess they've had polar bears at like SeaWorld or something. Which that's a whole nother episode altogether. Because you know how earlier you said sharks don't want to eat humans? The polar bear is one of the only animals in the world that will actively hunt humans. Who lives where polar bears live? <laughs> Good luck in Alaska, dude. Well, uh, why they, the fuck they, do you live in Alaska? You're well, a criminal who's <laughs> on the lamb. That's where you live what? in Alaska. Come Al on. Alaska is the United States, Australia. Yes. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Nobody lives in all, uh, in Alaska by 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 like, hey, I, I like it here. Yeah. No, you live there because I'm not allowed in the contiguous United States. Right. And Hawaii is too hot for me. There's a whole Good bunch point. of shit back there. Uh, you know. Yeah. 
Go the ahead. feds Let's aren't going through 70 miles of no. snow to get, track me down. No, they're but not yeah, doing no. the, polar, the if river. If you live with polar bears, live, you're, you know, that's on you. That's, well, we're that's already at you. Darwinism. If you're in that situation, motherfucker, you knew what you were doing. So let's yeah. see what we do. I'm the type bear. of bear who has challenged you. There are three basic species challenged. of bears in North America black, brown, or white. Brown bears, also known as grizzly. Let's not be racist here, guy. <laughs> the grizzly's a bad motherfucker, dude. I think are are essentially to... unstoppable. Your only option is to play dead by dropping to the ground with your face down and covering the back of your neck with your hands. If your performance is convincing <laughs> enough, the brown bear will dead. toss you around a bit and then eventually leave you alone. White what? bears also whoa, known whoa, as Whoa, 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 whoa. He'll <laughs> toss you around a bit. <laughs> How do you continue to play dead as you're getting tossed well, toward the a fucking oak bear tree? is basically <laughs> the, the greatest animal in the animal kingdom, from what I've been told, Yo. as far as. Look. Now, a whale and a bear can never fight, so we're not going to get that. Look, I kind of love that there's this whole police brutality thing angle to this. They're like, you just need to lay down and put your hands behind your head, and he'll leave you alone. But much like a cop, he still may come up and plug you and or throw you into a tree. <laughs> he'll just kick you around a little bit. <laughs> now, how, but again, how do you – look, Jeff, you're an actor. You're an actor. I've never done it. I think I could play dead, but the minute the bear grabs me and throws me toward a tree, like gay, my acting is well, then, done. Like I'm gonna open to my act. eyes. Then, then, then you're just a ragdoll. <laughs> Let's see, dude. Polar. These motherfuckers. Polar bears shit. are generally friendly, but if Whoa. upset, can typically be subdued by a humble offering of ice cold <laughs> Coca Cola. Black bears are the most common type. Okay, so fuck you if you live with polar bears. And wait, wait, this species yeah, we will focus on for the rem th this week's. This week's uh, shout out to a website. It's absolutely this dude. I don't care. I don't know what channel it is or what it is, but the fact that this guy just said the way you subdue a polar bear is with a Coca Cola, more people should be watching him. Apart from their fur, they can be identified by their tall, pointed Black ears, bears. short claws. We're going to get past all the racism. The white bears are the friendly <laughs> ones who just need a Coca-Cola. Yeah, just give them a Coke. <laughs> the brown bears, the grizzly bears. Although, again, I actually follow the, the logic with the grizzly bears. They are, again, I've I've looked into this because mm -hmm. someone once asked me whether a grizzly, I'd take a grizzly bear or a gorilla, and I said a gorilla, and then I looked it up, and I was dead wrong. Grizzly yeah, no, bear. they're 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 predators. There's bro. nothing. They, they there's are nothing bad. that could beat a grizzly bear as far as mm. it's a mm. mammoth animal. But the black bears are the most common. So let's focus Cause on and them. lack of. So I'm guessing that's this is the big animal. You, you got to get big. That's Any all. Any distinct I mean, shoulder hump. Big. The black bear stands approximately two to three and a half feet tall to the shoulder and four to seven feet tall when Holy standing on its back shit. legs. Step two: commit to the four fight. four to seven feet. Commit though. to the fight. That's I'm a square up. Getting big. It's getting, I'm a yeah. square up. He gets on his back legs, and I'm like, all right, dude, let's do okay, this. Well, if he's four feet, it's not that scary. He's if four he's feet seven. of muscle. I am five foot eleven of pure trash. <laughs> yeah, right. but 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 yeah, if he's seven feet, it's a little scarier than. Yeah, if he's I mean, if you're Shaq, I get it. If Black you, bears, yeah, you got that. All right. Yeah, well, well, Shaq. Shaq needs to be able to fight all wildlife because, as we all know, he's too big for toilets, so he has to shit in large <laughs> bodies of water. It's a well known fact. Google wait, it. Wait. Shaq only shits in large bodies of water. Right, he look. cannot. So, indoor so, plumbing cannot handle Shaq. So, so we have to fact. change that. You remember the old saying, does a bear shit in the woods? The so, Shaq shit from in the ocean. From now on forever, I'm going to be like, does Shaq shit in the woods? The Shaq no, shit no. in the ocean? Shit, shit in the ocean. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. yeah. The Shaq shit in the ocean. I've been trying to make this a thing for a while. Oh, I think we got it right here. Now let's yeah. see how this dude, look, if there's odds on this fight, it's like 40 to 1 bear. Like, you're, you're not going to win. The point is, you're not going to get in the fight. You must be to faced head on. Any sign of cowardice on your behalf may result in death or dismemberment, often both. <laughs> Resist the urge to run. Bears can reach speeds of 30 miles per hour. They typically miles. enjoy the cardio workout that chasing prey provides. They enjoy the cardio. Your energy for the fight ahead. <laughs> Avoid climbing trees to create distance. The one thing bears like more than chasing things is climbing things. And having the high ground means essentially nothing against an enemy with teeth like theirs. Your only 
chance is to stand your ground. Step three, get big and make noise. Thing. Black bears are known to go. bluff get when big, engaging in fights, often pulling a whole up from a full charge at the last second to <laughs> test their enemy's nerve. Hold your arms above your head and bellow out your loudest yell possible. This may give off a greater impression of size and power and may scare the bear away. Do not flinch if the bear howls back and avoid what? making direct eye contact. Mm -hmm. Establish what? with the bear that you will be a formidable foe, but give the bear the option to disengage. Step four. The no direct eye contact's a good piece of advice, I feel like. It, it is, but don't flinch when it makes a noise. You'll be like, let's do it. And he growls and you gotta oh, hold stiff. Oh, no. man, you got, you got it. That, that's fighting anybody who's bigger than you. That's true, that's true. So Engage self-defense countermeasures. There are no rules in bear fighting. Use any available <laughs> objects at your disposal. This includes no sticks, holds stones, knives, no heavy objects, barred. blunt objects, sharp objects, any improvised well, weapon to assist in gaining well, the upper hand. Stars. Aim for the bear's I'd most sensitive areas. It's snout and either. eyes. Right. Hand to claw. Snout, again. snout and eyes. Yeah, dude. So see, so see, it's an interesting, with men, it's eyes, but first testicles. Yes, 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 yes. So, so every animal's eyes are the weak point, it seems like. Well, I think literally we have saved some lives here today if they watch this through. Because hand to claw combat is not advised. <laughs> hand to claw combat. I love that there's no rules. Like, there's a referee somewhere in the woods. Like, you're not, sticks, not, skip, not baseball legal. bats, throwing stars. Well, again, if I had a baseball bat have, with a throwing star, they don't have star hanging testicles to go okay. for. If you had a baseball bat with a throwing star in it, Jeff, could you take out a black bear? Baseball bat with a throwing star. I, I would, I would I, like a, I don't know if you watch The Walking Dead, like a uh -huh. Negan bat. Oh, uh, that guy. Woo. See, I would, uh, I would go at it. So I like that because if you had the bat with the throwing star, you put like one good swing into it and the throwing star is going to stay. So now you're kind of stuck to him, right? Whereas Negan's well, I don't bat, like that. <laughs> no, not at all. Whereas Negan's bat is just barbed wire or barbed wire wrap. Yeah, so yeah, you yeah. can just puncture and get back, puncture and get back. So maybe the bat with the throwing star is not a good idea unless you have really great aim. Put it in his eye. Put it in his eye. <laughs> well, a lot of people walking around with baseball bats and throwing stars sticking out. <laughs> right. I, look, I don't know about you, but that's how I camp, Jeff. <laughs> I where, bring my shark stick. <laughs> yeah, where's the shark stick? Let's get back to that. Back is, I think we've taught a lesson here, Jeff. Here's the deal. Regardless of the animal, punch them in the nose, get to the to eyes. Detroit. Like, nose and eyes are going to give you a chance. But more importantly... <laughs> engage in the game, bear in a game of wits. <laughs> stay away from the situation. <laughs> it's putting equation. <laughs> like... Do math. Uh, <laughs> okay, this guy. Brain no, teasers as guy. the Let's more you this. take, the more you leave behind. Oh, you must now dodge. Yeah, we gotta hear that. Come back. Bear I, I saw Bears have notoriously efficient mathematical capabilities, but are often vulnerable to step five. Engage the bear in a game of wits. After proving your physical prowess in battle, you must now dominate the bear mentally. Bears have notoriously efficient mathematical capabilities, but are often vulnerable to simple riddles and pop culture trivia. Simple Consider riddles and pop culture as trivia. As the more you take, the more you leave behind. What am I? Or what is Paul McCartney's middle name? Step six: Discover the bear's deepest dark. Secret. Bears often lack conversational discretion and after right, a physical well, and mental a altercation plug. may no unwittingly shit. reveal embarrassing personal details if you engage them in friendly discussion. Consider asking the bear you where it grew up, how its gold, relationship Jeff. is with its you parents, whether the bear was picked on, why the bear never went back There's to finish college, or if the bear ever regrets turning down the invitation they received to travel abroad some three and a half years ago. <laughs> Step seven, travel to the bear's home planet. After establishing a proper rapport with the bear, ask permission to board its colony spaceship and join them on a return trip to their home planet of Rotuva Prime. Be sure to take note of the ship's undocking procedures and if undocking asked, lend a hand in stabilizing its planetary backflux if you happen upon a destabilized vortex matrix. Remember to pack honey. Step 8. Help rescue the bear's family from the enslavement of the Kuzvoxian nanites. The bear's thousand years war against the Kuzvox is, of course, an intense interstellar I'm political so glad affair, I didn't but the lack of a post by either party Jeff, will mean a human can make relatively short of work of the situation. Kuzvoxian programmers I, I want to know this dude. <laughs>
Oh Little blockade God. should only take a few moments. Step 9. Use your newly gained prestige to become a planet-wide <laughs> celebrity. The newly emancipated bears of Rituva What's Prime the, uh, will be eager for their appreciation for your bravery, and at this oh, moment, geez. it is advisable to leverage your stature by appearing on as many Rituva talk shows as possible. Step 10. Run for political office. Having gained the favor of the bears of Rituva Prime, this you should now candidacy to become the representative of a local sector. Become Step the 11. President Blackmail of the, bears. the bear. Threaten to reveal the bear's the deepest, bear. darkest secret unless it assists you in expanding the legal authority granted That's to you under the Rotuva seven, Constitution. The Use secret. the bear's weakness to your advantage. Them. Take total political control. <laughs> Step 12. Introduce Honey to Rotuva Prime. This new product will quickly rise to the top as their most desired resource. Step 13. Collapse the economy. Introduce planet-wide economic instability by artificially inflating the market value of Honey. Step 14. Oh, top of the established great. government. Strike a deal with the bears to maintain their constitutional independence in exchange for easy and open access to various goods and services. Step 15, oh return to Earth. Commandeer the bear's spaceship and return <laughs> home. Once safely back, dispose of the spaceship in a nearby quarry. Employing the self-destruct procedure is advised, but not necessarily required. And just like that, in 15 simple steps, you've survived your encounter. <laughs> 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 For a guy, uh, I'm going to hit the subscribe button right here. For a guy with 1.46 million I, people, I've never heard of this guy in a million years. I legitimately thought that this was good advice. Definitely, uh, probably not. Look. But amazing video. I want to do, the, in my opinion, a harder animal than a bear to survive. Let's do it. Tiger. Oh. I think when we were talking the, the other day, I, yes. said, I remember hearing... The way to beat a tiger is you got to punch it inside of its mouth on the back of the throat. I, I like you got to deep throat yeah. the tiger with your fist. And I'm like, what? nope, Dude. that's not going to happen. What? I mean, huh? <laughs> yeah. so, so, anywho, I don't subscribe to that. But I figured, and again, I have not watched this. I just, as Let's you can see, see, I got through the preamble on the bottom. Uh, I have no advice to, to no. defeat a tiger. I think... Um, I think I would maybe play dead with a tiger. I would look for the closest, weakest prey that I could find and try to get behind them. Hopefully I'm not alone. Like, I'm just going to try to serve up some shit to the tiger before the tiger gets to me. If not, not you got to try to get the back. You got to get the back. The head can't get you to the back. I mean, the, the paws and shit would hurt, but I mean, if you get on the back, you're good. Yeah, but the paws can kill you. If they hit you once, right. you're dead. But, That's a one, but, one hit. But think about the paw. Your paw, can you get there like hard? And if so, your balance is off. You're only on like they're, three they're legs cats, when you dude. do it. They're cats. Oh, no, no, that's awful then. Holy shit. Because yeah, cats are just weirdly, they, They've got more balance than anything. Right, they got more balance and weirdly move shit. Yeah, he could grab you with a claw and easily put you back in his mouth. All right, yeah, hey, no, let's see what we do. Yeah. No, no, no. They'll, they'll kill you with their paws before they eat you. I'm, I'm fairly Dude, sure. those mothers are like, boom, dude. Like, mm, no. I guess encountering a tiger in the wild is also pretty... Step one. Unlikely. Uh, stay quiet. If you're lucky enough to see so it's like the t-rex in jurassic park <laughs> kind of right right the tiger before it spots don't you move. stay quiet and don't move <laughs> movement will alert the tiger and oh, turn it's its his lips to you even if the tiger looks old injured or sick it is still a threat ah! right? even <laughs> he will still fuck you extremely up extremely <laughs> dangerous they have less ability to hunt big animals but you're an easy target step two Inhale deeply. Panicking is the worst Tell me thing to you meditate? can do. This is not a good time to give what? in to your fight or flight response. Back away slowly. Without making <laughs> That's like you a raptor. Show your back you to the animal. It. As soon as the tiger is out of sight, get out of there as fast as you can. If the tiger <laughs> spots you, you when you're with a child, put it on your shoulders. It will make you look bigger and more intimidating. The same goes for if you have an adult with you and can get them on your what? shoulders. Do anything you I'm can not to make to yourself look larger so the tiger <laughs> thinks you're a threat. Stand tall and puff yourself up. This Don't crouch to or do like or a do bear. anything to make yourself look small, as that will encourage the tiger to attack you. Step four. Hold your pee. What? Don't piss your pants. No matter how scared you are, do not <laughs> Billy your Madison. Pants. 
<laughs> Tigers are attracted to urine. I'd the tiger might famous. think you're marking your territory and take it as an act oh. of aggression. That might get you killed. Bruh. Step five, don't touch. What? Right. Don't try to there pet are more the thing tigers in captivity eat. than there are in the wild. In the that's U.S. alone, stat. there are approximately 5,000 captive stat. tigers, but only 3,900 yeah. globally. Wow. Ooh. Despite what you've seen on TV, tigers, tigers are not meant to be pets. Yeah, Just no, ask Las idea. Vegas showmen Siegfried and Roy. <laughs> Their careers were cut short when a white male tiger named Manticore mauled Roy Horn. Yeah. The tiger dragged Roy's unconscious body backstage in 2003. And humped him. <laughs> animal handler Chris Lawrence believes that the showman had neglected to spend time with the animals for several years. Weakening the necessary oh. bond between the tiger and the performer, many of the handlers thought that Roy was treating the cats more like props. Horn tiger lost gonna an be enormous a tiger. amount of blood from the large puncture wounds on his neck Oof. and needed brain surgery. Today, Horn is able to walk short distances without his scooter and can talk with difficulty. Although he wasn't physically hurt as a result of the attack, Handler Lawrence experienced severe PTSD, alcoholism, night terrors, and suicidal <laughs> tendencies for 15 years. And remember, Great Roy Horn and Chris Lawrence are both professionals Dude. who spent years of their lives working with tigers. Yeah. Step six, yes. don't believe myths. Despite the myths that all cats fear water, tigers enjoy it. They're great Ooh. swimmers and enjoy cooling themselves off. So they so can find a gator. Water will not be a safe place to hide. In the water. Step seven: climb a tree. Ah, ah. good call, Jeff. Now we're Unlike climbing. other jungle cats, oh, tigers do not climb trees. You see how easy that so was you may for be that safe lion? If you climb Ooh. high enough, that the tiger can't reach you. If you encounter a tiger that has escaped from captivity, don't assume it. Was that in Jungle Book? <laughs> now it that might have been because the 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 evil guy, the you know, you know the I think it was a call panther, that? though, wasn't it? No, it was no, no, tiger. it was Shere Khan. Khan. Shere Khan was a tiger. Ah, yeah, so he couldn't get up the tree. Domesticated and friendly, they are as dangerous as a tiger in the wild. Step eight fight back mm. here's what I, how do you do that right. don't try to play dead this will make <laughs> you an easy meal if a tiger has you in its grips stick your hand right into its mouth that'll trigger a gag reflex stopping it from biting <laughs> the good news is tigers are more afraid of attacking a human than a lion especially if they aren't familiar with humans really? and haven't learned how easy it is to catch and kill us I'm not... they're more afraid of humans than lions Bro, that's a, bro, the gag reflex. So apparently, so that, it, that is true. So that it doesn't bite. Alleg allegedly, like that's well, like yeah, the just, guy without it, the arm said. Well, it gag <laughs> it gagged on my arm, so didn't eat me. Yeah. Shove it down their throats. Right, right. But if you should come across a lion, you'll need some different survival strategies. Oh, yeah. Find out more about that right here on nope. how to survive. Surviving, how to? Yeah, just avoid being an idiot. That's, yeah, that's it. Well, like, what? Well, where are you encountering a bear? Obviously, a tiger was more of a fun thing, even though it would not be fun. Uh, uh where are you? Like, you know, I, I guess, I guess you could encounter a shark if you're swimming on the beach, even though you know. But if you take two words away from this episode. Nose and eyes. Nose and eyes. No matter the animal that's coming to you, punch them in the nose, get to their eyes. Like they're apparently, they even told us in the video, there's no rules in, in fighting a black bear. There's no rules. Nose and eyes. Yes, right? go to their planet, collapse their economy. <laughs> <laughs> this has been phenomenal. Hopefully we saved some lives today. Please tell us in the comments how you utilize the knowledge that we gave you today. <laughs> please don't <laughs> Jeff you want to wrap us I mean make the comments and subscribe yes. and like but but please don't take any survival again we didn't even give survival nope actually the best survival uh thing we said was from this guy's mouth saying just don't just, just don't just, just don't just don't not right. don't survive just don't 
Don't molest the alligators. <laughs> That's the name of the episode right there. <laughs> don't, the alligators. Yeah. don't molest the alligators. There we go. You made my job easy in, in one thing. <laughs> yep. So, hey, in and, and, and our, uh, you know, you saw our plug is for our guy who had a very funny video on that. Yeah, um, you heard his name. We don't need a big Right. Plug. It's done. <laughs> yeah. Hey, when he plugs us, we'll plug him back. He can even don't, gag hey, on us. Hey, don't molest the YouTube creator. <laughs> you can molest me if you want to. Not ah, you. <laughs> all right. Yeah, Time for a refill. Show. <laughs> it's a show. Uh, it's a show.